Hey guys, welcome back to the Profit Channel. You guys already know in this channel we talk about cryptos, uh, we talk about um, stocks, we talk about the real estate market, um, and all those topics right now are especially crucial uh, to talk about because there's a lot of misinformation, there's a lot of noise, uh, there's a lot of manipulation that is going on in my opinion so it, it, this is the perfect time and today in this video actually we're gonna touch all those investments so um, first of all I hope you guys are ready to add another zero to your net worth because if you have ten thousand dollars right now you sh if you're investing it correctly uh, you should be hitting a hundred thousand dollars if you have a hundred thousand dollars you should be hitting a million um, depending on where you're investing your money and if you're watching my videos uh, you know where I'm invested and I'm gonna make millions right in front of your face and you'll see it we'll all go through it um, but today I just wanted to talk about um, first of all, all all the noise that's going on that you guys need to you know ignore secondly you should always be trying to figure out how to make more money if you have to get a second job if you have to drive uber whatever that you have to not that I'm driving uber I'm in my car right now that's because I'm going to the gym this is my gym parking lot um, I have two uh, companies one of them is a construction company the other one is also um, construction related but it's more consulting type which we'll get into maybe later but um, I just wanted to make sure that all these people that that are talking right now in the media that you guys are not listening to um, and that you're doing your own due diligence um, you just have to ignore the noise and you keep adding you have to keep DCA right now dollar cost average um, best time to do it why because as we know just look at the past history every two years there's a correction okay and we saw that 2020 there was a correction right now we're in a bear market so every 10 years or so there's a recession okay um, and then every six years or so we're in a bear market so right now we're in a bear market but also in a recession so these people keep saying oh well we have to wait for like two negative uh, GDP um, you know to come out and then we're gonna not we're already in a recession you know what I'm saying like we're already in a recession we've been in a recession um, so usually they will announce the recession like eight months or more than a year into it uh, but we already know what's up right um, things will get worse from here but that doesn't mean that you can't start DCing right now because in reality we all think it's gonna get worse just based on what's going on but the markets are so crazy that it could flip just like that it could flip right away and start going up and then you have lost all your opportunity um, to make something in the market so if you were buying right now and it dips 20% more from here which I, I see as a possibility um, that's even better you know you're buying at lows right now like historical lows at, at some of these stocks are like 80 90% down so if you're buying right now and if it goes down even lower that's even better you keep averaging down right there's nothing wrong with that um, but what some people are saying oh just keep your cash and keep your cash yes cash is king and you know you if you have cash you can buy a lot of things when they're much cheaper but s deploy some of that cash right now you know what are you waiting for what if things flip what are you gonna do then you're gonna look back at these prices and you're gonna be like oh my god you know I wish I would have invested um, that, so that was the stock market so the stock market in my opinion it's gonna come down a bit more just because it's natural when that when 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 there's inflation the only way to beat inflation is to hike interest rates when you hike interest rates you're bringing down the value of the stock market crypto housing market all of it is gonna come down you, you you're seeing right now the stocks crashing you're already seeing crypto crashing um, so crypto right now would be a perfect time for you to like you know if you, if you haven't bought anything sitting on the sidelines or if you already have something right now is the best time to start you know putting some money into it uh, can Bitcoin go from 20,000 to like 8,000 sure 
so just you know at every natural resistance you you put some money into it so if it's at 20 breaks 20 is gonna go to 15 you know you, you buy some at 15 then it's gonna go to 10 if breaks 15 and so on right so you just keep adding because you know it's not going away that stuff is not going away it's, it's here to stay so you just keep averaging so so we spoke about the stocks we just talked about the the crypto so in case you're just wondering you know I you know you should be DCing into all of these housing market that's next so the housing market it actually it, it, it's it's pretty stupid because I'm I'm like I'm in that business uh, almost right so like I do construction and then um, some building inspections and things like that for the other business but like I, I keep seeing these houses are selling for like uh, like hundreds of thousand dollars over asking there's like one house goes for sale there's like 65 offers on that house like that's just stupid um, so everyone who just bought bought at the peak but guess what in five to ten years from now it's not gonna matter where they bought because it's gonna go up historically if you look at the charts it's always going up yes it just dips here and there because of a recession depression black swan whatever but it's always gonna go up in the long run right but I was looking to invest into some um, homes uh, maybe to flip them or to keep them as rentals or whatever but I saw the market and I like I was like there's no way and I knowing that you know inflation with inflation um, and with oil going up like oil affects everything in your life everything so when oil is at this high typically usually the oil goes really high right during or before a recession and then it drops massively after but till that is high until food prices are this high shelter anything you name has gone up in price even the construction materials that I use they've all gone up right all the trades have gone up plumbers electricians HVAC guys they all cost more money now so I saw this coming because for the inflation to be killed there has to be a hike in interest rates and when those interest rates are hiked that brings down the asset prices and housing being one of them right now imagine if um, six months ago or in January six months ago if you um, had mortgage and you say you wanted to buy a house six months ago for four hundred thousand um, dollars and you put a 20% down payment uh, you were looking at 1399 so almost 1400 bucks mortgage in January right now that same mortgage is is almost two thousand dollars okay so that's like almost like a $600 increase that's a lot and they have to pay taxes on that they have to pay utilities on that so a lot of people are on fixed incomes there's no way that that people are gonna be able to afford like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollar increase on their monthly payments and they're gonna be okay with that we're already seeing mortgage um, applications drop 40% we're already seeing like the the areas that I live in um, so there's a couple of areas that are about a half hour away from me um, even my own area the house prices have gone down between two hundred and seventy five thousand dollars to three hundred thousand dollars like it was it, it's crazy like this place was going crazy I know in the States like the houses are like four hundred thousand dollar on average here the average is like over a million dollars I think it's w uh, close to 1.1 something so looking at that you you have to recognize the opportunities and you got to be prepared only the prepared are going to be rewarded in this market because it's it's the top 1% that make money in this type of situation where all the little guys right now may be selling their houses or they can't afford it anymore they're going to be going into rentals or whatever uh, or they're dumping their stocks they're getting margin calls uh, yet there's the one percent right now that keep buying they're just adding and loading loading right now they're waiting for the market for the housing to crash so they can buy some properties too that's how rich become richer right it's and it's only the prepared who are who have dry powder right now who who've seen this day coming and and have cash to to deploy right now right and the housing market watch in like in a year's time it's gonna be a lot lot lower than what it is right now and 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 just think about it 
do you think inflation is going to come down anytime soon no so what what needs to be done okay well the the the, the prices need to go up right all the like the um uh, interest rate it has to go up for the prices to drop okay so if that happens um what happens to to all the value of of everything everything comes down including housing so just have money and be prepared because everything is about to drop hard um and we may never ever in your lifetime come across a situation where we have a multiple um situation with the world going on where we have like the the, the this and that and like i don't want to mention them right now but like you you guys already know what's going on in the world like how do you honestly think that in your lifetime again you're gonna have like four or five different things that are uh, huge uh, that are gonna happen at the same time no it's not so right now is the best time to do um, some investment right now is the best time to add to your positions um, right now is the best time to wait a little bit if you are looking to buy um, some property because prices are going to be coming down man and imagine all the people that have to renew soon they, their mortgages are going to be up and they're used to paying like say a thousand dollars or fourteen hundred dollars for a mortgage um, the next time they renew that mortgage is going to be over two thousand dollars okay so that's that's not a good situation a lot of people are going to be losing their homes and a lot of the young guys um, like including myself like you know I, like I've been investing for a while um, been studying the market but there's a lot of people that are like new to, to everything to investing they don't even know they've never even seen a recession they don't even know how, they, they think that everything keeps going up all the time that's not true man things drop all the time it's just a cycle if you understand the cycle of the real estate or the stock market or the crypto like crypto has a four-year cycle every before halvings you know like you got to consider all those things and then stocks same thing there's corrections there's bear markets there's recessions they happen every few years um housing same thing if there's an over like if there's a high demand and and low inventory prices go up and then there's oversupply and then there's like inflation hikes to cool down prices and then we're gonna get to that um equilibrium where everything the the, the demand is gonna meet the supply uh, and prices are cooled down and then from there everything is gonna go back to the cycle where the prices are gonna drop because there's an oversupply um and or the interest rates are too high right now for people to to even afford a mortgage so yeah i'm just waiting on the real estate but for the stocks and the crypto i've been i've been like in um heavy um and i'm working as well so any money that i see like don't freak out we i think we still have a lot of time to to invest still so you know keep working keep doing your thing save money don't spend money on stupid things anymore um, save that money and put it in the stock market because you're going to be making generational wealth man all the moves that you make today can feed your grandkids keep that in mind and keep that in mind that you could also add a zero to your net worth depending on the moves that you make this decade okay i'll leave you with that um just make sure you guys uh, subscribe if you want videos like this i have a bunch of other really good videos right now um that are already you know posted on on um, youtube uh, please make sure you like subscribe um, and spread the world if you want to share let me know if you guys have bought anything lately or what's your situation do you agree with me or not um, let me know in the comments below but i'll see you guys on the next one